Hello everybody, my name is MyGravities and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. Um, what just happened? All of a sudden, Daniel just left the realm, he was right there. But, welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server, and uh, we have a lot to do today. So, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are, and uh, now Daniel's back already. What is that skin? And now he's sitting there saying you like jazz. We're in a discord call. Sadly, you guys can't hear him. I wish I was able to figure it out. I might figure it out one day, but I can't figure it out right now. And I don't have time to figure it out because I have to record right now. So, <laughs> but we have finished the base. Look at it! So in the last video when I recorded, you guys remember that half of this right here was gone. I have finally finished the base, and I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm just going to come out on the outside. Also, this may be different to you guys. We now have a fully powered beacon. So the beacon that was in Plunderville, since it, it, since it is my beacon, I took the beacon, and I had exactly enough iron to fully power it. So now we have a fully powered beacon here at my base, which is amazing. And now uh, it's going to go down in this pit that's right here. There's this pit here and uh, all the way down it. It's going to go possibly all the way down to bedrock and Daniel just jumped down it. It's going to go straight down to bedrock and uh, it's going to have. Why does he keep leaving? It's going to go straight down to bedrock and there's going to be the beacon down there. The best part is it's going to fit perfectly in there as well. What is he doing? What is he doing? Huh. But I have a great idea on what I'm going to do. So I have uh, this shulker box right here. And it has some stone bricks and some cobblestone. And what I'm going to do... Whoa, I almost just jumped down it. Jumped down it. I'm going to surround... It's going to basically be stone bricks all the way down it. And then there's going to be some like cobblestone around in it. And why does he keep leaving the server? <laughs> but um yeah there's gonna be that and pepe's here somewhere he's over here there he is he's just standing still <laughs> there we go all right what are you doing daniel okay bye <laughs> that's weird but uh, we also have a whole bunch of shulker boxes, and we have a whole bunch of emeralds as well. I don't know if I showed you guys that in the last video that I recorded on the server. But, um, we have, our uh, the weirdest map. Why does he keep leaving? <laughs> How is he able to rejoin him that fast? Like, I can't even do that. It takes me, like, ten minutes to join this server. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, I have plans for this tower. This tower is going to be uh, not the same. What it's going to be is it's going to make it look like it was destroyed. And uh, so there's going to be this perfectly fine tower. Yeah, the ruins. It's going to be that one there. And then there's going to be this one that's destroyed. Why does Daniel keep leaving the server? Why He just left in the middle of the... Oh, and now Jonah joined out of nowhere. What is happening on this server? Oh, um, he was just frozen in midair. I'm not going to ask what's happening, but, um, I'm probably going to head back to Plunderville to show you guys some more there. But this video is going to be all about me building my base. So I'm going to go. What is happening? Phase Jeff? Okay, I'm. Uh, I am going to go and stop the recording, and I'm going to go start building this. So, before anything gets any weirder, I'm going to go do that right now. I'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone. Look at this. We've been doing this. We've been doing this for about uh, 15, maybe like 20 minutes. <laughs> we've been working on this. That's what the recording says. But look at this. Uh, so we went down here and we just put on. Uh, we filled it fully in with. Uh, stone bricks and then we put some cobblestone everywhere around it and I'm, when I get some more vines I'm gonna put some mossy cobblestone going in there because I want this place to look like it's ruins and as you saw before this was just a straight cobblestone path but now we've added in some uh, stairs some cracked stone bricks uh, some sand sandstone uh, st normal stone buttons slabs all that kind of stuff to make it look like it's a ruins or like and like it's filled up with sand a little bit and my goal is going to be to you know mess this up a bit i don't want this to be all clean i'm gonna put like some stairs in some spots and some slabs in some spots just to make it look like it's old that's my goal for this build is to make it look like it's actually an egyptian pyramid it's old but um I think it's looking really good, and I really, really like it. Uh, so Pepe and Daniel have been helping me with this this entire time. So Pepe's still on. Daniel had to get off, which is really sad. But um, we're still here, and we've been working on it. I think I might end off doing building this. I might come back to this. I don't know. But I really like how this is turning out. I've just been going around putting around random cobblestone blocks everywhere just like that and some more here maybe then we take this put some sandstone around and make it look like it's old that's basically what we're trying to do here anything that doesn't look right i then take it and redo it putting some more blocks there to see what looks right because i don't want this to look like it's new or any i don't want it to look weird that's what i'm saying and I hope it's looking good. I think it's looking actually really good. Um, we're, we've been spending a while on this, just walking around. We also have a few sandstone blocks, as you can see, just scattered around in here. My goal is to do this entire the entire thing like this. Um, make it look like there's sand everywhere and stuff like that. And then my goal is also to get some sea lanterns to light that up down there. And it's gonna be it's gonna look really cool. I had other ideas for this, but I'm really I, I think I really like this idea here. And I think I'm gonna keep it like that. But um I think I'm now going to head into Plunderville and um see if there's anything in there that we can do. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are now in Plunderville. And um I'm just gonna go around through my shop and uh see oh, look at that. We made some sales. Uh, now I just gotta look around, see if there's anything else that made some sales. I'm really, I'm really surprised that this, this potion hasn't sold. It's, uh, oh, nobody even knows how much they are. I need to change this sign back. There we go, potions, five diamonds each. And somebody came in here and bought all of the bone meal that I had, so I just restocked it for, with as much as I had. And these are the thing. This is the thing that never makes any sales. But um. Oh, I want to see if anybody did the buyback program. Nope, still nothing. Um. Actually, Daniel, I heard bought some golden carrots. Look at that! Diamonds in the bank. We are now up to eight diamonds made today, I believe. And I'll put that in the bank in a second. Well, in my under chest, of course. Actually, I might come in here. No, I already bought that. There's nothing I want to buy. <coughs> Oof. I think I might have to buy some things off of Pepe. Alright, so. I'm just going to put all of this away. Except for the sandstone, because I'm probably going to be working a little more on my thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all of this into sandstone. Oh really? I don't have. No. I need. To... Ugh, I just need 64 sand. All right, I've got a stack in a bit, and I'm going to go back to my base, and I'm going to go do that thing that I said on how I'm going to make that tower look like it's broken and ruined. So I'm going to go do that right now. 
and I might make that, I might do it in the video. So let's do this. That looks so good. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. So I've just done this for I've just been doing this for a few minutes just putting random blocks everywhere. And it looks so good. It really looks like it was destroyed. If you put them side by side comparison, it looks beautiful. I kind of want to put maybe like some piles of blocks here. Just like it maybe like fell off or something. No, oh, not that big. Maybe like just one back book. Ah, it's not looking good to me. I don't like it. Jonah suggested to me to build that but sideways on the ground or on top or on the temple that's like fallen i think i might do that but later i think right now i'm just gonna put leave it like that but to me it looks like it didn't fall that way to me it looks like it might have fallen right here so it would be like right about here and one day i might go on a creative test world and try and do that but this looks amazing. Oh, the base is really coming along, guys. Oh, wow. This is amazing. So my, my one thing I want to do is just put... So since it's supposed to look like ruins, I'm just going to put some stairs in here as well. Just a few. Um, oh, I ran out of stairs. Of course I did. That looks good. Now that I'm looking at it from a lot, it looks amazing, guys. This is amazing. I'm getting really excited. That's awesome. All right. Well, we started at the base, and I think we're going to end at the base. I think... Yeah, 100% Pepe approved. I think I'm going to end the video off here. So, guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button, silly, in the face. Like there is no tomorrow. I haven't said that in a while. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team M Fruity. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye!